basically two different types. Your first type, my dear friends, will be based on your inductance. And this basically will be calculated your mutual inductance that is nothing but your M, or in some cases your coefficient of coupling that will be given by K. So let's say there's some number one which you have in this case. If you observe your sum number one very carefully and you read it, it's give it's defined as or it is given as the combined inductance of a two coil connected in series is 0 0.6 Henry or 0 0.1 Henry. When I say 0 0.6 Henry, that is my cumulative is 0 0.6 Henry and my difference is 0 0.1 Henry. Depending on relative direction of currents in the given coil. If one of the coil has a self inductance of 0 0.2, one of the coil means either it can be L1, either it can be L2. So I take that value as L1 is equal to 0 0.2 Henry. Find the mutual inductance that is nothing but I need to find M. Find the coefficient of coupling that is nothing but I need to find K. So let's do it for this following segments. When I say I need to find, need to define the value for to add up, this will be L1 plus L2 plus 2M. The value for given is 0 0.6 Henry. For difference, value is L1 plus L2 minus 2m. The value given is 0 0.1 Henry. So what I do it, I add both this equation, equation number one, equation number two. What I get is twice of L1, twice of L2. This will be 0 0.7. Since I already know the value for L1, which I have got it as 0 0.2 Henry, so this will be twice L2 equal to 0 0.7 minus 2 into 0. So value will be 2L2 is equal to 0 0.7 minus 0 0.4. So L2 will be 0 0.3 divided by 2. So value which you will be getting is 0 0.15 for value for L2. So this is nothing but your n. So after getting the value of L1 and L2, let's find the mutual inductance. The n can be found out from either from this equation, either from this equation. That's your choice. So I use the above equation. So L1 plus L2 plus 2n is equal to 0 0.600. You have the value for L1, you have the value for L2. You just need to find the value for n. So let's put the value for L1 and L2 and get the value for M. So your calculation for 2M is equal to 0 0.6 minus L1 value is 0 0.2, L2 value is 0 0.15. So your M will be, so 0 0.6 minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.15 equal to you get 0 0.25 divide by 2 which you get 0 0.125 that's a value for mutual coupling that was your first case my dear friend now the second case is your coefficient of coupling when i say coefficient of coupling i need to find k the formula for k is equal to m upon under root l1 into l2 so put the value for m that is 0 0.125 upon l1 the value for L1 is 0 0.2, the value for L2 is 0 0.15. Simplify it, you'll get the value for K. So your numerator will be 0 0.125 and your divide by denominator will be bracket under root. Again bracket, it will be 0 0.2 into 0 0.15 bracket close again whole bracket close the value for k which you will be getting is 0 0.72 that is your coefficient of coupling so that's what we study in type number one how to find out your coefficient of coupling as well as your mutual inductance so let's see a few more example on this topic and type number one signing off thank you